Welcome back to another episode of Adam Gaming. Today, we're going to be talking about Marvel. And that they have Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider is awesome, but it's just very And they just screwed up the movie. What's new in the Marvel world? Infinity War. Oh my goodness gracious. How many times did you guys go see it? I've seen it twice. How about you guys? I've only seen it once. Yeah, I've still only seen it the one time. I don't know if two and a half hours requires a second scene. Oh, it does. There's so <laughs> much jam packed in that movie that there's. I had to go see it a second time and I saw a bunch of new stuff and it was really, really interesting. It was really, really fun. Mm -hmm. So I take it you, you enjoyed the movie? It was so good. That's great. What did you guys think? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was good. I thought uh, I went in and seen none of the none of the, um, none the of trailers. Spoiled. Yeah. yeah, trailers. It wasn't spoiled because I decided to see it the first weekend because in our line of work, everyone's gonna be talking about it. So I felt like I should yeah. see it so I don't get it spoiled. It's true. It's true. Honestly, I thought it was a great movie. Uh, visually, uh, effects wise, was great. It was just everywhere, top notch. Uh, I did like how they, a lot of the battles were separate. They were in teams, even on different planets. What, that was great. My favorite parts were probably Thor. I thought he was just hilarious. Yeah. Thor, Thor was MVP for sure. Yeah, yeah. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Even how he came in, right? Oh yeah. 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 I mean, he oh, yeah. intro, in, the intro was just like him getting beat up. Yeah. Yeah. And then flip a coin. Yeah. And, and I felt like he was the most knowledgeable, I guess, in this situation. He knew what yeah. he had to do. Yeah. He knew he needed a new weapon, and he knew how to get that weapon made. I mean, that was just, a, he, he played a smart guy this round. He really did. How he yeah, got he it made was him getting shot by a star. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, was, yeah. that was pretty epic. That was awesome. Serious third degree awesome. Oh, oh yeah. serious third degree burn. Yeah. Would you call that a level up at that point? Yeah, yeah. he yeah. 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 I, I would. I would definitely yeah. say that. I would say after Ragnarok, Thor is definitely leveled up. A few yeah. times, yeah. 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 I thought it was pretty interesting that uh, the Hulk had problems, or Bruce Banner had problems trying to become the Hulk. Mm -hmm. And oh, I, that was hilarious, yeah, the cause of banter back and forth between exactly. the two yeah, of them. Yeah. Very it was funny. So funny. And I enjoyed seeing him in the like Iron Man type of suit it was really The Hulk Buster. Oh, yeah. The Hulk Buster. Yeah. That was, that was yeah, yeah. very awesome. Yeah. Well, that, yeah, that was a, I think, a playback to the comics too, right? Because he had this, this, this huge struggle. And then this is the second time he got himself sort of smacked out, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. first was from Ragnarok Thor. First, yeah. yeah. Ragnarok, yeah. right. And then now again, and he, I think he's, like, I don't want to come out and play. Yeah. These guys are like, this is a real <laughs> deal. So, and then and then he made, he said something very, at, at, towards the end that says, uh, who was it? Bruce Banner, right? Mm -hmm. He said, Something to Thor saying, like, "Dude, we got a lot of stuff to work out." That that is a very very key moment between that the two characters coming together. Um, that slaps back right into the comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was interesting. So there might be a really cool like side story with that. I think my scream out loud moment was when Thor came to join the army uh, and the war. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yes. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. I was so pumped up. Just leveling the playing field. And he took, oh, out, yeah. super cool. oh. took out his heart, Thanos' heart, yeah. and yeah. I was like, you should have aimed higher. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have the iconic... Yeah. Uh, yeah. The snap. Yeah. yeah. The snap. They, they, they captured that from the comic perfectly. I would have to say my, my favorite part about the whole movie was honestly seeing Red Skull again, because Red Skull disappeared yeah, no, from the first Captain true. America, mm -hmm. and then he finally makes his way back, and hey guys, I've just been hanging out on this planet for forever, forever yeah. guarding, this, guarding this soul stone, you know? Yeah. Give up your, your your loved one for it. And yeah, it makes me very yeah. curious. Yeah, exactly. It makes me curious how he knew up. that. It makes me curious how he even got himself to that particular planet. I loved his cape, the way it was, he was sort of like floating yeah. in like slow motion. There's probably a whole team that designed that. Yeah, <laughs> that was so epic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. really cool, That's a, that was a good moment. I don't know if anybody expected that. Did anybody no. expect that? Oh, that's oh, very oh, not at all. Yeah. No, I, was, I, I was happily surprised. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it in the comic book that the snap was on a different planet? I think the snap mm -hmm. happened, um, he had like a like a throne world type thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm pretty sure the snap happened there. Yeah. 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 That's completely different from the comics. Yeah, yeah, but like that's that's the best part about about the comics and you have the movies. You have the comic universe, and you also have the Marvel, you know, cinematic the, the cinematic yeah, universe. Yeah, yeah. Which is great. Which is awesome. It's mm -hmm. great. And and I really loved how it 
Infinity War was a really great retelling of Infinity Gauntlet. It wasn't to the T of the comic, but it was its own thing. Yeah, I, and I think it. that made it yeah. that made it even more special than what I, I agree. Yeah. 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 I did think it's gonna be, even part two might be completely different just because uh, there's gonna be probably two groups missing, which yeah. it's gonna be. Yeah. Well, wouldn't it already be completely different because they split it up into two parts? So, like, half of it's already happened? In well, the comic, yeah, instead, it's like a like well, full uh, cohesive story. Uh, instead of like how it like started, and then it's like there's still some people, but then not. That's that's literally my knowledge of the comics. Well, I mean, nothing else. The comics kind of come out in, in like in like issues and stuff. Yeah. So you would yeah. you would you would yeah, get, yeah, you like get one story, issue yeah, and then it's it's like Thanos. It's like the, the very like first quarter of the movie, and then yeah. the other issue is like another quarter. And stuff but like it's that. like there's always different parts. But there is in the comics specifically, is there like a point where he's just like slowly just whittling out the population? I'm just like there's there's multiple snaps, or is it there like one issue where it's just like. Alright, everybody's gone. Yeah, I think that's a possibility. There's one. just yeah. the one. There's just one snap. So, so this one, one there could snap, potentially be right. two in the second movie, like halfway through, and then you're like, wasn't expecting that one. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just <laughs> yeah, snapping yeah, yeah. Don't he's go. Just walking, <laughs> yeah. Don't go. He's just walking downtown, just snapping. Yeah, just snapping everything. <laughs> you're back. You, you gone. Back, you, gone. you gone. Yeah. You gone. Exactly. Everything. And everybody saw the end, right? Yeah. yeah. The very oh, end. Yeah. Doctor yeah. Fury. Dr. Fury? Nick yeah, Fury. Nick Fury. I don't think he's a doctor. No, he's definitely not a doctor. No, no, yeah. he, he hasn't. In has Spy a Guy. Doctor in Spy. I okay. Guess. okay. I guess. Director, that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Director Fury. Fury. Yeah. Not There's doctor. There's DR in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Close. Director Fury. And he calls on that little pager phony thing. Palm mm -hmm. Pilot. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, yeah. Palm Pilot. Yeah. Captain Marvel. You guys all knew that logo? That was mm. cool. If you didn't know that logo? No, because I'm telling you, I don't, know, I don't know anything about it. I go in knowing nothing. Oh, even yeah, from so my yeah, characters, though. My knowledge now is up to infinity. That's it. <laughs> oh. I got so nothing. You, you don't, nothing you don't look at the comics. No. You didn't, oh, don't know, oh so don't. this is a fresh. Yeah, I, I knew Ooh. nothing going in. What I'm, about the cartoon series? Oh, nope. Oh, the only stuff that I knew were the, like, the first like series. ten movies or so, or however many there were before it, like all like their individual stories. Yeah, that's it. Wow, it's like a newborn. Yeah. So your all all the exposure <laughs> is Marvel movies. Yeah. Well, that's kind of fun. That's, that's a kind of fun is. area to. Learn. So yeah. I, when you guys are just like, it's completely different. I'm like, not to me. He can't this be this story. Yeah, right. Yeah, this is yeah. my first time. Yeah, that's why I did it. Well, what about what about Marvel movies to Marvel games? Has there any been transition games that you liked, and how, you know, did it look like the movie? Do you like that it wasn't part of the movie? And what what games are even available right now for the mobile and for like so the game many. consoles? Yeah, there there's there are so many Marvel games that have been out for years and years and years. I mean, you have you go all the way back to like the early like the, the X Men arcade games and stuff like that, like the first Marvel mm -hmm. versus Capcom. And today, you you know, you have the the new Marvel versus Capcom Infinite. You have um, Marvel Conquest of Champions, like one of one of the new phone games, yep. uh, Strike Force, and then you also have the new Spider Man game coming out yeah. this September for the mm -hmm. PlayStation Four. And they're all great classic games, classic games. With Marvel vs. Capcom, it's like Marvel vs. Capcom Two is regarded as like the top, one of the top fighting games of all time. Yeah, yeah. And, and you got into the the Lego series. Yeah, right? I like all the Lego games, and just recently I beat Avengers, and now I'm doing I did Superhero, the first one. And I'm doing Lego Superheroes 2, and they have a DLC for Infinity War. And boy, is it nothing like the movie. Oh, okay, that's what I'm <laughs> yeah. curious about that, if it yeah. was anything uh, close it's to straight, it. You're, you're uh, actually Thanos and his his band of, uh, of misfits, of I guess. Men. Yeah, <laughs> that are just uh, that going through and they're trying to find Thanos' son on a different planet. And it's uh -huh. one level, and that's it. Does he get the gauntlet? Oh, uh, yeah, you have the gauntlet. Uh, nice. Does it cost Best. money? Is it free? Uh, it's. Three dollars. Yeah. Do you have the gauntlet and the stones, or is he in a quest to find the stones no, also? Just, just finding the stones. Yeah. So he, has that. Already, he already has all yeah. the stones. Yeah. Wow. I believe so. What's it called? You sure? Uh, the level's called Running of the Gauntlet. What's the actual game? Ha! Lego Superheroes. Lego Superheroes. Yeah. Lego Superheroes. Yeah. That sounds really cool. Yeah. Marvel versus Capcom. That was also awesome. Yeah. It's a good game. But those well, those Lego games are always the so much fun. Great. They have they the have humor. their own sense of comedy. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's humor, it's adventure, it's co-op. You can co-op adventure, which mm -hmm. is great. And it's just it's 
Lego hijinks in, in a video game form. It's, it's, it's even more fun when you inc include the, the Marvel superheroes where you can like swing around as Spider-Man or like fly around as Iron Man and just shoot rockets all over the place. Yeah, and, yeah it's tons of fun. Instant gratification. Yeah. Instant gratification. <laughs> or I mean, you know, even jump around as Hulk and, and smash a bunch of things, you know? It's, mm -hmm. I like that's that. That's always fun. Yeah, I like this, that. The, this one, there are like probably over 150 characters that you can play as okay. in the universe. That's it's just like, yeah, that sounds you great. play through the first level, like even before the DLC and you get like five characters and then you just the like sheet pops up and it's just a bunch of question marks and it's just like well I got a lot to play. Yeah, you got a lot. So, more. so yeah, yeah 150 well, time, time to play. And some of those you don't even wow. unlock, you have to like collect the coins or the studs. Okay. They're like the little like Lego wow. circle one like one pieces. Yeah, yeah. And that's what you collect and then it's like, yeah, you need like 7 million of these to buy this <laughs> character. Wow. Oh wow. Yeah. So, you later, start off with. So, it's a uh -huh. Who do you start off yeah, with? You start out with it feels like a year grinding. Iron Man. There, yeah, Iron Man. You don't even start out with the original Avengers. There's like random ones that I don't even know cuz I'm only in the movies. I don't know the comic stuff. So, it's like I think I can name Iron Man. Uh, Captain America I saw. I saw the Wasp. Huh. That was it. That's all. I that's know, all. Like, that, that's all. You that's know. all that I could tell you. Okay. Uh, do we see the the Fantastic Four, the X Men, maybe coming in to the new Infinity War? Maybe X Men. I, I feel like they might because I know in the comics, X Men and Fantastic Four both had a part in Infinity War. Right. Yeah, Especially that, Wolverine, really, yes. really a large mm -hmm. part. Silver, yeah. Silver Surfer, Silver Surfer, a huge time, role. Yeah. Like, rather than, than you know Bruce Banner getting sent back through the Bifrost with Heimdall, it's really the Silver Surfer, the Silver Surfer who's like riding around. and He comes to Earth and he warns Doctor Strange, yeah. "Hey, you got this guy who's gonna come. He's got his stones and his gauntlet. And he's just gonna rough you guys up." Those movies are acclaimed by a lot of critics that they're they're not so good. I don't know what you guys' personal opinions on it, but it was interesting to me to see the Silver Server become like as a philanthropist and, and, and try to turn things around and you know, be a do-gooder. So that'll be very interesting to see him especially come into the new Infinity War. Mm -hmm. That'd be really cool. I think the X-Men's, they're trying to save the X-Men legacy or fuse it into the Yeah, the yeah. they're trying. They're, 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 they're trying all right. A few now. movies back since yeah. because, well, Logan came out. That X Men timeline is like all of it's the all over the place. There's like right. seven of them. Yeah. yeah. As I believe in Deadpool 2. Yeah. He fixed the timeline. <laughs> Deadpool 2. Oh, okay. Okay. That just came out. So Spoilers. Spoilers. good. Oh yeah, haven't spoilers ahead. Let's talk yeah. about Deadpool 2. No, it's not because people haven't seen it. Oh, uh, no. Uh, so this this side, side of the room. Side yeah. yeah. Well, Deadpool 2 was great. And yeah, hilarious. Yeah, so look over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Deadpool 2 is great. I'm going to have to win Dave. Who did not see it? We all saw it. I, I did not uh, see it. Oh, you didn't yeah. see it? Chad and I have not seen it. Oh, oh yeah. okay. It was, it was good. It was worth seeing. If you like one and you are like crossing your fingers and hope that a sequel will be as good, it was. Oh, yeah, it was. It, it, it was, did a good job. It extended the ladder. One of the only sequels that actually held its own. Nice. All right. So talking about that, why don't we get into? And I have a feeling I know on this arena uh, about favorite characters. So you're exposed only to the Marvel Maybe. cinematic yeah, universe. Cinematic universe. You have some comic background too, right? I have the old cartoons background. What is your I have background? A little bit of movies and comic books. Okay, how about you? I, Same. I have a, a pretty pretty good background of the, com the comics and the movies and just all of it, yeah. Okay, so we start on this side with a favorite movie. Why don't we start on this side with favorite character? My favorite character's gotta be Spider-Man. Um, I, I love I love his abilities. I love the being able to just web sling all across you know, New York City or whatever, or wherever he's Where at. Wherever he's at. Yeah. Um, and that, that even goes, carries over into the video games. I, I, that's such a fun thing to do yeah. in games. Is jump off the biggest building and just whoop, no, nope, I'm, <laughs> I'm good, I'm fine. Or like you like web sling yourself over to one of your one of your enemies, you just punch him in the face real quick. Um, but Spider-Man's also got this like cocky sense to him as like, as he's beating you up, he's talking trash the whole time. Well, and and teenager, I love that. In a juvenile just, yeah, way yeah, exactly. too, like he's not doing a great job of it. He's like yeah. pity about it. Yeah, exactly. And that, yeah, that makes him kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, he's, some, he's that's cool. such such a fun character. Some of those jokes land, some of them don't. <laughs> <laughs> just try, try that with the audience. Yep. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's a little bit of everywhere. What about you? Definitely. My favorite character is the Punisher. Oh, And nice. I really like him because one, his backstory is just so dark and all he's trying to do is just avenge his family's death. Yeah. yeah. And Sounds he, like he will stop at nothing. Oh, yeah. Just to do that. Just a yeah. pure vengeance. Yeah, just trip. raw yeah, anger. Yeah. yeah, and in yeah. one of the comics, actually, there's like an alternate universe where 
he's going against all the other superheroes in the Marvel universe, and he kills them all. Wow. <laughs> nice. And he's just a regular That's guy. awesome. Yeah, just oh, a regular, regular guy. guy. Yeah. Was in the Marines. Down the in the Marines. All you need is these. <laughs> and the guns. <laughs> That's it. Wow. Yeah. Wow, well, I didn't know that. I didn't know he like, takes no. everybody out. You don't mess with the Punisher. Yeah, yeah I guess you don't. Yeah. Hey, hey, or he'll punish he punishes you. People. He will punish you. He will punish you. <laughs> he will send the Hulk to you. Yeah. yeah. He'll track you to unleash the Hulk. That's, yeah. that's mm. the real I, I, I would say I got a uh, my one of my guys is a military background. The other one is a science background. I got a two. I really like the Hulk. Like, like Hulk Hogan the Hulk or? <laughs> <laughs> Cinematic yeah. Universe Hulk, uh, Green Green Hulk. You don't well, Green Hulk. What kind of Cinematic Universe though? Like, are we talking like? Okay, the ones the, that we all know. Like, 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 like Lou Ferrigno Hulk. Yeah, I'm like, cool with him too, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah I'm cool with that yeah. too. And I also like Wolverine. They all they they both have um uh, just sheer just insane anger issues. And uh, I can relate to that a little bit. You know, there's another side of all of us. And I, I just, I love that just raw, and just, just go at it, just at 100 miles an hour. I just dig that. That kind of makes me like scream out loud too, especially when they, you know, in, in Avengers, when he goes, Hulk, smash, and he just goes nuts. And that's my scream out loud moment. I just love that. I just oh, yeah. absolutely love that. And I think uh, Wolverine also has a military background yep. too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. World War II. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, World yeah. yeah, multiple wars. Multiple yeah, multiple yeah. wars. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. He, he was an aerial guy. guy. I remember. He went through what? Like, he was in all of them. Yeah, right. he was in Revolutionary Civil War yeah. and all of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's an old, only but goodie. Oh, yeah. Yeah, an just old soul. Those two Them combination claws. just. Mm. Them bone claws. Like it. <laughs> <laughs> like it. How about you, man? Mine's Deadpool. Oh, surprise. Mm. There was no surprise. <laughs> <laughs> There's just the bluntness about it. Yeah. Why? Uh, why? Because he's so funny. No. He, he's just—he's so great, you. and he yeah. and he breaks that fourth wall. He does break the fourth wall. I think that one—he could just be him staring at like the camera. Angle. Well, he yeah. does <laughs> occasionally stare just to get your reaction. Yeah. Just like, come on, boy, what's yeah. up? No, he—he's yeah. just awesome. He can take a bullet or a thousand. You know, a couple head chops. Yeah, he can. He's amazingly well done written character, I think, because they just take him, you know, like, he's a little bit crazy. He talks to their audience, you know, yeah, like you know, out in the open, what makes people think he's a little crazy. And he's not uh, afraid to get frisky. No, Which, not no, at all. No, 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 no. He's, he's got a lot, he's got a lot of charisma. Yeah, and uh, he's uh, one of those characters that really can fight and have an action scene and make you smile when you're doing it. Have fun while it's happening. And he'll give you a little piece of art afterwards. And yeah. <laughs> art <laughs> art. Do a little doodle. Maybe yeah, right. a chimichanga or two. Yeah. Yes, yes. chimichanga. Yeah. Speaking of Deadpool, just in like the movie universe, wasn't Deadpool 1 the first like R-rated superhero movie? It was. I think, oh yeah, it was. I think it was a PG-13. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It was. PG-13. PG no, PG-13 for it, sure. It, it had, I mean, you think was, about that, like depending on how long ago the movie came out, the ratings have changed and just yeah. like, culture itself. Yeah. So like some the of the movies now that acceptable. are like PG-13 could have been PG back then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's well, true. So, it's mainly because Reynolds demanded all control. Yeah. And he had to have it rated R to make it successful, and he did. Oh, he yeah, produced it, right? I don't he, know. If, he directed it. Oh, he directed it. I don't yeah. know if that movie would have done as well. No, you, no. you can't. You can't capture the essence that is Deadpool in a PG-13. Yeah, or it had to be R. Or yeah, not yeah. without a doubt, you can't do yeah. it in a PG movie. <laughs> it, ha it had to be rated R. So many and times. for for so many years prior to Deadpool one coming out, or even like the rumors of it, a, a lot of comic fans really wanted Ryan Reynolds has to be Deadpool. Yeah, he has to be Deadpool. And when we found out that there was that pool, we, it mean you had full confidence boost. Yeah. You knew it was going to be great. You knew it was going to be perfect. You got a perfect guy playing playing the perfect role, which, yeah. is, which is the same thing with like Robert Downey Jr. and Tony Stark. They're just they're perfect. Mm -hmm. They're just perfect, perfectly fit. And I feel like my character's the exact opposite. In Death. Uh oh, what drum roll, please. Yeah. The, the, the tried and true fan favorite Phil Coulson. Mm. Oh, just a just an overall great dude. He's just, he's like one of us. Just a straight He's up. just chilling with people, doing nothing wrong, <laughs> get, like collecting, collecting playing cards here and there. <laughs> just having a good time. And he can hold his own with all these superheroes. He's just like running around, picking up a gun or two, and that's it. And just blasting <laughs> you from nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Phil. 
Yeah, just Phil. Phil. Yeah. Just Phil. No, agent, as I recall. It's an agent. Agent, agent Phil Coulson, or yeah. just agent, agent Coulson? Just agent, Coulson. agent Coulson, Phil. Mm. Or, and and you like him director. for what? He's just an overall friendly guy. Oh, you like and him for just, his friendly? Yeah, he's just like, he's like, he's just like one of us. He's just like a normal person. Well, he's just doing his job and he's collecting collect playing cards as a hobby. Okay. That's it. Well, we took one of those games that we talked about earlier and we downloaded Marvel vs. Capcom. And we started to play around with it and said, well, this is kind of fun. Let's see how we do. So we paired up with everyone and watch this, see how we did. Ready.
ready. Fight.
ready. Thank you so much for watching our second episode all about Marvel and the Marvel world. Uh, we look forward to seeing you guys next time for episode three when we talk about... Wait till then. See you next time.